Hi, now we will learn about bonding in boranes based on the molecular orbital treatment. Consider clozoborane uh, BP times HP times 2 minus. Some uh, uh, books or some uh, website refer this as BN HN 2 minus. Uh, now, N uh, in the, throughout this course and on all the modules, I am going to keep this N as the number of corners that are present in the parent polyhedron uh, for the closer case we know that p is equal to n so we are going to retain this as b uh, b n p n 2 minus or b p h p 2 minus both are same for closer but not for all okay now orbitals uh, and electrons on boron will be uh, the valence orbitals okay the valence orbitals are 2 s 2 2p1. So, in here we see that there is one s orbital with two electrons and three p orbitals px, py and pz with one electron. So, what is the total number of uh, orbitals now? The total number of orbitals on each boron will be 1s plus 3p, 4 orbitals. If there are going to be n number of boron atoms, then the total number of orbitals is going to be 4n. So, again I refer here as the n refers to the number of vertices in the parent polyhedron and p is equal to n for closer structure. Okay, right. Now, uh, whenever we go for the molecular orbital treatment, we know that we have to look into the mo bonding molecular orbitals and antibonding molecular orbitals. Now, out of this 4n number of orbitals on boron, 2n plus 1 are bonding molecular orbitals. Out of this 2n plus 1, n uh, orbitals on boron um, uh, goes for the uh, BH sigma bonding. And n plus 1 orbitals on the boron goes for the framework or skeletal bonding. So, totally it becomes 2n plus 1. Now, the number of non-bonding orbitals remains 2n minus 1. So, when we add 2n plus 1 and 2n minus 1, we get 4n. That is, this will refer to the number of orbitals on n boron atoms that are available in the cluster. So, now I would like to highlight this point. Uh, now, the framework or the skeletal bonding orbitals will be n plus 1. So, this n plus 1, uh, if this is closer, right, then it refers to P. Suppose if this is nido, then this n, we need to add plus 1 to this to get the n value here, right. So, n will be equal to P plus 1 for nido. For arecano, n will be equal to uh, P plus 2. For hypho, n will be equal to P plus 3. So, please remember, n refers to the number of uh, corners or vertices in the parent polyhedron which is of closer type okay so now we will further understand this uh, from this uh, table also the same thing i have given here what is the highlight here is whatever be the number of uh, well, sorry whatever be the cluster type the framework band bonding pairs remains the same right because it is n n plus 1 throughout i would like to highlight here because uh, the n here refers to the n cornered parent polyhedron because in some books they say that this is n plus 1 this is n plus 2 this is n plus 3 no because let us not go for such kind of nomenclature uh, i will retire to this kind of nomenclature because the n refers to the number of corners that are present in the parent polyhedron because we need this when we apply to the uh, carbonyl clusters also right there also we will be applying the same weights rule there also we need we will be calculating the small n so there should not be any confusion that is why we should retain the small n as number of Poly, number of corners in the parent polyhedron. So, nido will be one corner less of the parent polyhedron, arecano will be two corners less of the parent polyhedron and ifo will be three corners less and cledo will be four corners less of the parent polyhedron. But whatever be the cluster type, 
the bonding phase, the framework bonding phase remains the same at n plus 1. Okay, right. So, again, we would like to recall this. Uh, n refers to number of corners in the parent polyhedron. So, for closer cluster, we need to add 1 to the number of boron atoms to determine the framework bonding pairs, right? So, yeah, P is equal to N for closer. So, I am adding 1. So, uh, that refers to the uh, number of bonding pairs of electrons. For Nido cluster, we need to add 2 to the number of boron atoms. The number of boron atoms present in the arachno cluster is uh, 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 P. And then uh, to get N, we need to add 1. And then to get the uh, framework bonding, we need to add one more. So, it becomes N, uh, sorry, P plus 2 to determine the number of framework bonding pairs. It should be P plus 2 or N plus 1 for the number of uh, framework bonding electron pairs. Okay, right. So, for Nido cluster, uh, sorry, for Arachino cluster, we need to add 3 to the number of boron atoms that are present in the framework bonding pairs. Okay, right. So, uh, I would like to again highlight that let us retain the uh, number, uh, sorry, the uh, letter N, a small n as such. Let us not uh, interchange that with uh, small p because that might lead to confusion later, right? P is the number of boron atoms in the cluster. N is the number of uh, vertices in the parent polyhedron and N plus 1 is the framework bonding pair of electrons for any type of cluster with n number of corners in the parent polyhedron. Right now, let us calculate what is the total valence electron. We have seen for the orbitals now. Let us now calculate what is the total valence electron of a boron cluster. I, here I have taken a closer cluster. Uh, each boron has three electrons. This we have already seen two S electron and one P electron. So, there are six boron atoms, 18 electrons are there. For hydrogen, uh, each hydrogen has one electron in its valence shell. So, the contribution from all the hydrogen from here is 6 and the charge is 2 minus. So, this is also added to the total valence electron count. So, the total electron count remains at 26 for this cluster. Now, for the Nido cluster, where the number of boron atom is 1 less than the parent cluster, right? So, this is going to be 5. And uh, the formula will be B5 H9 because we know that uh, the difference between the P and Q will be 4 for Nido. So, I add 4 to the uh, P, I get the number of hydrogen as 9, okay, right. Then this is derived from, you can also calculate from here, B5 H5, 4 minus. So, add 4 hydrogens to this, we get B5 H9, okay. Now, what is the number of valence electron? Uh, 5 into 3 plus 9. So, this remains at 29. So, the number of framework electrons will be 7. Alright. So, the 7 will be here. Uh, uh, sorry. 5 into 3, 15. Uh, 15 plus 9, it remains at 24. The number of framework electrons will be uh, 7 because the parent uh, vertices is 6, 6 plus 1, 7. Arachino, again, uh, remove two corners from the parent one. So, the number of boron atoms in the cluster is 4. So, you can derive the formula from here, B4H4, 6 minus should be the anionic form of the arachino cluster. Add 6 hydrogens to this to get the neutral form. You get B4H10. Uh, calculate the number of valence electrons. So, 4 into 3, 12, 12 plus 10, 22. So, the framework electron again remains at 7. Because the parent uh, polyhedron is octahedron with the number of corners 6. Now we will take up another example for the parent polyhedron. Here the number of vertices is 7. We are considering the uh, pentagonal bipyramidal polyhedron. In the closer structure, all the corners will be occupied. So, 7 boron atoms will be there present in the cluster. So, the uh, formal uh, uh, anionic cluster will be B7 H7 2 minus or B7 H9. The valence electron count will be 30. Since there are n number of uh, uh, parent power corners or they are present in the polyhedron, the framework electron pair will be n plus 1 that is 8. Let us come to Nido. Nido uh, has one uh, vertex less than the parent one. 
So that means uh, six vertices are present or six carbon atoms are now present in the cluster. So now I can derive the formula from here B6H6, six, six, 4 minus is the formula, general formula for the NADO cluster. So this becomes B6H10. So 6 into 3, uh, 18 electrons from boron plus add 10 electrons from hydrogen, you get 28 electrons. Now there are 6 boron atoms. So 7 is the number of corners of the parent, parent polyhedron and 8 is the number of uh, framework electron pairs. Coming to the arecano, uh, it is 2 corner less than the parent polyhedron. So that means 7 minus 2 will be 5. And for uh, uh, arachino polyhedron, the anionic charge will be, uh, this will be BP, HP, 6 minus is the general formula for the arachino polyhedron, arachino cluster. So, uh, I am having this uh, formula here, B5, H5, 6 minus. Now, uh, add 6 hydrogens to this, you get B5, H11. So, now what is the valence electron count? 5 into 3. 18 uh, plus 11 uh, so it becomes 26 electron count valence electron count now what is the number of framework electron pairs the five corners uh, five five boron atoms are present in arecano which means that parent polyhedron we need to add two corners so seven then to that add one to get the framework electron pair so which remains at eight so i hope you understand this let us do a let us do some problems to and get clarity on the uh, total valence electron and the framework electron pair the framework electron pair i have referred here as fep sometimes this will be referred as sep also skeletal electron pair i have given three different types of uh, borane cluster here let us do problem and try to understand the first one is b10 H14. The difference between a boron and hydrogen gives 4, which means that the cluster is a NADO cluster. What is the total number of electrons here? So 10 into 3 from the boron contribution and 14 is the contribution from the hydrogen. So total electron count on the cluster is 44. Now what is the parent uh, uh, number of parent uh, polyhedron here? There are 10 uh, boron atoms this is a nido cluster so that means one uh, vertex less than the parent cluster so add one to this so this is p okay right so add one to this so p plus one uh, that is 10 plus one is equal to 11 so 11 is the total number of vertices in the parent polyhedron to this we need to add one to get the framework electron pair okay Next one is B2H7 minus converted to a neutral form. We get B2H8. What is the difference in the uh, number here? Uh, the difference between Q and P is 6. So, this refers to a arachinoborane cluster. Now, the total electron count here will be 2 into 3 from the boron contribution. And 8 is the contribution from the hydrogen. So, 14 is the total electron count now yeah, what is your uh, parent uh, uh, polyhedron here uh, 2 is the number of boron atoms this is the arachino cluster so that means it is two vertices less so you add 2 to this so you get n is equal to 4 so this is the parent uh, polyhedron for the, um, the what is why if n is equal to 4 what is the parent polyhedron tetrahedron okay right so the parent polyhedron is tetrahedron with four corners okay right to this we need to add one electron one sorry number one one electron pair to get the framework electron so framework electron is equal to 5 electron pair is equal to 5 Next one is B7, H7, 2 minus converted to the uh, neutral form. Then this refers to the closer structure, right? So the number of uh, electron contribution is 7 into 3 from boron and uh, 9 from the uh, hydrogen. That is 7 from hydrogen and 2 from the uh, charge. So it becomes 9. So 30 is the total electron count. Okay, right? Now since it is closer, P is equal to N. So the number of uh, uh, corners uh, that are present in the parent is also 7. 
So the framework electron pair, we need to add 1 to this. So 7 plus 1 is equal to 8. So I hope you have the clarity now. What is N? What is N plus 1? Uh, that is framework electron pair. And how this N is related to P. Right? I hope you understand this. Thank you.